welcome to another episode of the now twice monthly Midmax in Space. A recap of session six. The crew arrives at Dawnshore, which is on the sun. They follow a lead they were given to go find the Corona Artifact Divers HQ, where they meet a couple of nerds. After some negotiation, the nerds decide to help them and take them to where they want to go. And where they want to go is deep underneath the Corona. <laughs> when they get there, they find a dungeon. But because this is the sun, it is the Sunjin! <laughs> I'm so clever. <laughs> uh, don't hate me. <laughs> Please keep listening. They enter and engage in combat, where they find more of the undead FEO that they have encountered before. But there's also some other surprises here, including fire elementals and the potential for terrible radiation poisoning and death. We pick up as they continue to explore the Sunjin. Hey, did we ever loot those uh, guys we killed in the entrance? No, that's what we're going to go back and do before yeah. you start to move on more. All right. Yeah. Is that what you wish to go do? Yes. During this 10-minute rest, I would like to do a medicine check on Mr. Bubbles to see why he looks so sickly all of a sudden. Sure, go for it. 27. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's uh, You've encountered this before. It's green lotus extract poison. Ah, okay. Well, that's literally we what we have doses yeah, we, of or yeah. sold on the black market. Yeah, we right. sold them. I'll just kind of tap Mr. Bubbles on like the hip and be like, "Well, you're a big man, you'll be okay. Just green lotus poison." And then I will I go slap over. you for touching me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Kurt Kirsch over here is that and is like, "Wait, wait, wait. Now, um let's come here. I you rest. I I can do something about that." And I want to do a treat poison no, medicine I... check. Oh, that's not great. Does 18 beat its uh, yes, it does. DC? Yes, it does. What was its DC? 18. 17. God damn it. So he gets a plus four bonus on his next saving throw against the poison. You cure it if you make the save before you reach the end state. If you reach the end state, then it gets complicated, but you didn't. So uh, there's your loot, two tactical batons, two needler pistols, 13 doses of green lotus extract poison, and two second skin armors. Wow. That's a lot of green lotus extract. It is, and they're very valuable. Yeah, they are. So you guys spend 10 minutes to rest and recover and loot. Those 10 minutes pass uneventfully. What next do you do? Continue on the left side. All right. What you see is a path that goes off to your right and also a short path that leads straight ahead into a small room. Mr. Bubbles will peek his head into that room to see if he sees anything. Uh, You do. uh, Go ahead. Well, you don't need to make a perception check. These are not hiding. They're not hiding at all. It's more fire, guys. And now there's a big one and two little ones. Initiatives. This is where you use the cryo gun. All right, first to act is Mr. Bubbles. You see three fire elementals in front of you. Two small ones, one medium one. What was that new weapon you I got called? Uh, I believe it was the Splashmaster 2000. <laughs> Coolant sprayer. Hi, Mel. So technically I should have a plus three on this then. Would one more, would an 11 have hit? Uh, the little guy or the medium guy? Uh, the 11 was on Fireman Elemental 1, the, the small guy. It's KAC. No, it would not have hit. Or either it's KAC or it's CAC. Okay. I said a double check. Yep. So you make three different attack rolls, but one damage roll? Yes, that is correct. Does anybody want to give me a hero point to re-roll the, uh, the attack on the big I, 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 I kind of do. I haven't spent one, but I, I call it an hour main game that that can't be done. David, are you okay with me giving Mr. Yes. Bubbles? I am okay with that. I like All right. it. I like All right. teamwork. Then uh, Vale is going to kind of... Which one do you want me to try to hit again? Big one. The big one, for sure. 17 to hit. 
Yes. I, I know it's a cone, but I feel like I'm spraying like a water hose, basically. Like I just feel like a, at them. I think of a and fire I, extinguisher. And right. I feel like Vale was like, no, 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 back at that one. And I just like re-aimed back at him quick. Balls getting them all. <laughs> so, yeah, so roll 1d4 cold, and that'll deal, go to the two that you hit. So on the big guy, I did five damage. And well, that it's, is... just, it's just one, it's one damage roll. Right. Oh, it is one damage. So you would do five to each, the two that you hit, and then you'll do an additional 1d4 plus three to... Does does that double on a crit for weapon specialization? I believe so. So the back left one is staggered also. And And they're all entangled as well. Yeah. Except for the one he didn't hit, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So the back left one should have taken 11 damage before any additional damage for cold damage. So if it was, what, is it 150%? Yes, it is. So it would be 16 damage for the back left one? Yeah. yeah. Yes, it would. I'm assuming he's dead. Dude, that's a big hit. He is not dead. Damn. Well, he's staggered and entangled, and then the big guy (laughs) took seven damage and is entangled. Got it. And the back back right guy did nothing. I did nothing to him. I missed him. I guess you did nothing to him. Well, that was highly effective. Yeah, man. After I uh, shoot the kid, what, what do we call it? Splashmaster 5000? I, I uh, put that away as my move action and draw out my Doshko as a swift action using quick draw. Uh, it is the guy in the back who you crit, so he's entangled and staggered and almost dead. All right. Then we will have this. I, I'm going to have that small elemental up in the upper left. He got crit. Everything's terrible for him. He's not going to do anything. He's scared out of his mind. He's almost dead. We then move to the next small fire elemental. That one will move up to you, Mr. Bubbles. Uh, this one will get a 24 to hit your KAC. No. EAC. No. Nope. It does hit, I believe. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's... It will deal you nine points of fire damage. Oh. That is the end of its turn. We are on to Veil. You get to go in a combat round. Wait, what? Uh, oh, I'm totally unprepared. I don't know what to do. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, just, I'm looking for a way to get eyes on the elemental that just stepped up on Mr. Bubbles. I think I got eyes on him. I'm going to go ahead and cast my hazard spell and he's going to need to give me a reflex save. He gets a 20. Yeah, it's unfortunately for me a success, which means he takes no damage. Good. Glad my turn was helpful. Yep. Good job, Vale. You did a thing in combat that did nothing. Thanks, bud. Hurricane. (laughs) I'm just going to move. I don't really want to get into this room, but I'm going to provoke either way, so I think I'm going to run through past Varrican and the Fire Elemental and move to here. Inside of the room, to the right side a little bit, just five feet away from the Fire Elemental that's attacking Mr. Bubbles. I'm going to try to make an acrobatics roll. Okay. I don't make it with a 13. 15 plus half the opponent's CR. One and a half. One and a half. Uh, Yeah, you do fail with the 13, so it will attempt to attack you with its slammy little fire fist. Gets a 24 to hit your EAC. That'll hit. And will deal you six points of fire damage, minimum damage. Continue your turn, sir. As part of my move action, then I'm going to go ahead and just do a trick attack on the fire mental that is uh, tangled entangled and staggered right now so all right is it a (laughs) 31 yeah yeah 31 does that beat it all right perfect you rolled above i like crushed those well it's because i bought the premium version of fantasy grounds it gives you higher dice rolls (laughs) (laughs) 16 to hit you hit with the trick attack damage i uh, hit it for 11 damage it is now dead. All right. And then that is my turn. We finally move on to the big fiery fucker, and he will move up on Mr. Bubbles, and he will make an attack. He uses a big fire slam fist, and he gets a 17 to hit your EAC. Yep, my hits. Just barely. 
and he will deal you min damage. Eight fire damage. Holy shit, that's minimum? It is. And that is it for his turn. We move on to Kirsch. Uh, Kirsch is going to have to move in order to get some sort of line of sight on these guys. I am going to ready action to cast a spell. You can do that. And that trigger will be after Mr. Bubbles goes. <laughs> All right, Mr. Bubbles. I think I swing at the big guy with my plus two from opening volley since I uh, shot at him. Fair to enough. Start. How long did that I, entangled last from your frosty thingy thing? 1d4 rounds. 1D4. Yeah, that's did right. I, I saw a three. I thought the rules for entangle was... I, I just rolled a four. So they're entangled for four rounds. They can break out of it, but they can. if they don't... I thought the rules for entangle is that they stay entangled until they break out of it. I think this one's a little different. Probably no. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess spe- specific, specific yeah. overrules general. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So I roll with that plus two I got for my opening volley and got a 16 to hit the big guy. Uh, that will hit, particularly since he's still in tank when has negative two AC. Ooh, decent damage. 18 damage. Boom. Nice hit. Wow. Done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. Kirsch, do you wish to take your ready to action? Yeah, and I think this is something we've been doing wrong for a while. Ready to action is just like delay apparently you move in to behind you you, you move to that spot in yeah. so yeah i will cast the wisp ally on the fire elemental for harrying fighter the next person to attack him gets a plus two nice so describe your little wisp ally to me it's just a little a nice little ball of magical light that it, what is it shooting at this fire elemental because that's hilarious well, it's not shooting anything at him. It's in his space, and it's just distracting him. Oh. So it's like a little glowing, like, servant is what actually what it's called. It's called One Distracting Glowing Servant. I think we need to very specifically determine what yours and Vale's glowing servants look like. I have mine already figured out. Fantastic. I have not created one yet. <laughs> so for right now, it's just so bright, you can't tell what it looks like. There you go. Fair enough. <laughs> Is that the end of your turn? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because I was using a ready action, so I'd already moved Fair enough. Yeah. on my turn. So this little fire elemental, he's going to move over to Varrican, and Varrican, he's going to attack you. You motherfucker. Oh, that's a nat one. Critical miss. Oh, perfect. That's the end of his turn. Vale. Oh, boy. Uh, poor little guy. Vale is going to cast his uh, hazard spell again, and he's going to pull in something from a cold reality on the big fire elemental, or the bigger one. Fuck. So he rolls a nat 20 on his save and succeeds. Yeah. He's not even good at that save. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, fuck. All right, the Veil's turn's done. Cool. See, that's why it doesn't matter when I act in combat, right? <laughs> Varrican. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what I want to do. Okay. So if I shoot twice from where I am at right now, I'm going to incur an attack of opportunity, right? Uh, yes. So just one or two. Uh, depends on what Yeah, depends on else. the enemy. Yes. Okay. It's going to be just one. All right. Well, I'm going to take two attacks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so those are each at a minus four then. Right. Yep. I have it programmed into it. So a six and a 21. All Ten. right. Well, the six is going to miss and will incur that attack of opportunity. Okay. And technically, before either of them go through, the attack of opportunity goes through. So it swings at you. Jesus. Oh, for fuck's sake. I do apologize about this. I just uh, rolled a critical hit on you. Thanks, Dave. See if this works. <laughs> oh, it did work. Fantastic. So you take 16 fire damage. I'm afraid, Varric. Ouch. And a couple different things are going to happen. This guy's attack has 1d4 critical burn. Um, we'll deal with that when we get to it. And in addition, I believe that has ruptured your radiation suit. You have now taken one actual hit point, right? Uh, yes. That's what it looks like. Yep, there one go. wound. I need you to give me a fortitude save, please. As radiation rushes into this small little hole in your suit. 
I'm going to hero point that. You got a 13 total. Oh my god. Fucking that one. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's not good. Well, you're a mutant now. Yeah, radiation <laughs> is terrible. Now you're a uh, medium sized space otter with a human hand. Yeah. <laughs> and it's fucking gross. And now a chaos bot. <laughs> here's the good thing. Here's the good thing. Your second attack hits with a twenty one. Perfect. So you can get some sweet revenge. Oh right. Good. I, I, I hope it was worth it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know see. if it was or not at this point. You better fucking roll good damage on this. Hey, max damage for nine. Excellent. You do damage him significantly. Is that the end of your turn, my yes. hapless friend? <laughs> it is. Well, we move on to the big fire elemental, and he is just going to keep trying to take chunks out of Mr. Bubbles. He attempts to slam attack Mr. Bubbles. He gets a 24 to hit the uh, EAC. Mm -hmm. These pluses are so high when our ACs are so fucking low. They are. 11 damage, Mr. Bubbles. Oh, shit. That also puts me one into my HP. Fortitude save, please. I rolled a three and got an eight. It's going really well. Yeah. After that fire elemental, we move back to the top of the order with Mr. Bubbles. And actually, Mr. Bubbles, I now need you to give me another fortitude save. 19. Ooh, you're good. Take a swing at the big guy. You have a plus two. Yes, he's still entangled as well. 29 to hit. Yeah, you hit. 18 damage. Damn, that's a good hit. He's dead. Anything uh, else, my, Mr. Bubbles? Oh, from a move action, I turn around and go to uh, Kirsch and just keep pointing at the the hole in my spacesuit or in my radiation suit. I'm <laughs> hoping he'll do something. <laughs> <laughs> That's what like I I have duct tape on me? <laughs> <laughs> For the rest of my move action, I text him and say, well, you're a nerd. Do you not have tape in your backpack? <laughs> We move on to the next uh, participant. It is Kirsch. What kind of check do I need? I mean, is there any? Can I make a check to try to see if I can patch this thing? Or sure. Can we kill this other fire elemental that is in front of me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's all you, bud. You're yeah. good, right? <laughs> a no, a suits. knowledge, a check, knowledge check doesn't take anything. I'd need an engineering <laughs> check from you. Ugh, um, Eleven. <clears throat> um, you would have no idea how to fix this thing. So I will move into the room and then with my, I will use my standard action as a move action to move my wisp ally onto this other fire, fire elemental. Okay. And that will be my turn. After Kirsch, we move on to that little fire elemental who is still kicking and will take an attack at Orp Uh But he rolls a two and gets an 11 and misses. So that'll be God. the end of his turn. We move on to Vale. Vale will move into the room and do what he's been doing and cast his cold hazard spell. The firementals need to give me a reflex safe. Well, I've rolled really well on those. Get a 21 total. Yeah, that saves. Nothing uh, happens. That. Turn over. Varrican, uh, another fortitude save, please, sir. All right, dude. I'll play your little game. All right. 15. All right. Go ahead and continue your turn. Ah, uh, shit. How's he looking? Is he looking pretty beat up? Uh, He's looking okay. Yeah, he looks beat up. I'm going to move to the northwestern portion of the room here and incur an attack of opportunity. Are you going to try and make an acrobatics check on it? Oh, that's probably a way better idea than that, huh? I'd say. Then I can only move 20 feet, so I'm going to move to the northeastern corner. Now. All right. <laughs> Acrobatics. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> you barely I, do anything. A I think, natural one. I feel like David rigged the system tonight. Sorry about that. Too. These rolls have been so yeah. bad for us and so let me him. on with really good stealth rolls and everything like that. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I can't wait to fuck them over. He gets a 17 to hit you with his uh, attack of opportunity. Well, since my suit ripped, I actually get a bonus to my... Sure. <laughs> you take six points of damage. All right. And then I'm going to try to do a stealth roll then. Jesus Christ. Wow. wow. 
That's another many, rolled uh, another natural one. How many natural ones have been rolled tonight? I mean, that was my third. Yeah, so. so many. Okay, so I don't get my trick attack, but thankfully that wasn't for my shot. I'm gonna try to shoot him. So you get a plus two on this shot. Oh really? Oh really? Air and fire, right? Correct. Thank oh, you, God. Thank goodness. <laughs> Natural, Natural twenty. Thank you. Fuck. Oh, thank you, Christ. Thank, thank Desna. Yeah. Thank you, or uh, Sir Red Ray, because we're in the sun. Oh sure, whatever. So fifteen damage to it. Uh, it is absolutely demolished. Thank you. Just hit fire and take the head right off for it. <laughs> Sheriff Hart's in town, boys. I'm here. <laughs> and dying right now, so. Well, you know. Yeah, how's that, How's everyone doing right now? Yeah, in fact, I need another fortitude save from both Varrican and uh, Mr. Bubbles. This is a problem. This is a problem. 19? 16? Varrican, you would be impaired. You take a negative four penalty to fortitude saves, constitution checks, and constitution-based DCs. Oh, radiation is a constitution-based thing. You lose... Fuck. Seven hit points. Seven max hit points, or...? Just seven hit points. Just take seven hit point damage? Yeah, just take seven hit point damage. So what, the con damage? Uh, it don't actually take con damage. It's just to, like, saving throws and checks. So it's not, like, negative con. Mr. Bubbles, you take a negative two penalty, so you're only at weakened. You're not an impaired. You take a negative two penalty to fortitude saves and constitution checks and such. Vale has run over to Varrican. Yes, we need to stay in initiative essentially here. Kirsch, it's your turn. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah, essentially. I mean, is there any outward signs that they're having this? Like, they're like doubled over coffee yeah, they, or so you guys like, are gonna like start feeling very nauseous and i know his suit ruptured he showed me i mean can i make another engineering check to see if i know sure. if, I, if i can fix it absolutely patch up that hole Fuck, let's I just have, go back to the ship and fix it i have mending but that's a 10 minute cast let's yeah, go back to the ship die. and fix it <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, yeah, make, I'll make a this. quick engineering check 16. Uh, you think if you had the right tools, you could patch it up maybe well enough if you had radiation tape. Well, we need to get the fuck back out to what's yeah, his face. I, and I don't think I have radiation tape, so... All right. So, moving... We're going to have to do this in movement. Unless then. that's in a standard med kit. <laughs> right. What's uh, So, yeah, what's everybody's movement speeds? Uh, mine's 40 feet. Mine is also 40 feet. I could get out in one turn running essentially yeah. so yeah basically Kirsch will tell them to get back to the ship as quickly as possible don't worry about us we're fine <laughs> and then i had said it was a hundred meters to the ship from here so that's going to be essentially four rounds so we're going to need four fortitude checks from each of you before you reach that ship so how far do you move when you run Four times your speed. Uh, four times I think speed. you need a straight line, though. But you need a straight line to run. Yeah. Yeah. You can run as a full action. When you run, you can move up to four times your speed in a straight line. So we wouldn't be able to make it out on this turn, then. Not quite. What about going outside, though? I'm, I'm assuming once we're out this door, I can straight line run. Right, but we have to do our move action, so inside mm. of the... Is that tunnel a straight line, though, or is it a windy, curvy tunnel? It's Yeah, it's not a straight line, I'm afraid. And David, stop then, lying. You're just, you're just trying to fuck us. No, and even then, you've got the, the room with the holes. I will make my four saves. Yeah, four saves. Give me four saves, each of you. I failed all of them. You did not fail all of them. You failed two of them. These are um, minus my fortitude is each. yeah. I have minus two penalties, so that's a sixteen and an eighteen. Oh, it's five. Three of them. Yep. It's not looking good. Well, well especially if especially if it's getting progressively it's worse. It does get progressively worse. Fuck. So by that last number twenty he got might actually be Fuck. a higher negative. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So here's what happens. On the third round that you're running, Mr. Bubbles, Varrican falls over next to you. Jesus. How many total rounds does it take them to get out? I'm saying four. 
How far away? But am it I? is not a full four. It was like it was like three point five. How far away am I from the ship? So at this point, you'd be twenty feet away from it. Please pick me up. I don't. How much do you weigh? Uh, uh, I don't weigh that much. Currently, with all my shit that I have on it, I weigh three bolt. Wait, with all your shit? Yeah. <laughs> That's nothing. Yeah, so I don't weigh a whole lot. Yes, but we're also talking about me, who's technically encumbered. Are you really? You know how much shit I have on me? <laughs> um, I guess I'll try to use my quick draw to drop some of my gear and grab him. Sure. Works for me. You are able to grab him and run the remaining 20 feet. They see you coming and they open the door and you dive in. I don't dive in. I mean, I, I throw him in. <laughs> <laughs> you make it into the ship. Mr. Bubbles, you are experiencing, uh, you are debilitated. Strenuous actions cause you pain. If you take a standard action from this point on, you immediately lose one hit point. Oh. Uh, the same is true for you, Varrican, but you are also unconscious. Yeah. So. Oh my goodness! Your suits have ruptured! You're facing radiation sickness! I, I mean, point, I point at the hole in the suit and keep staring at him. Uh, he pulls out some fancy looking tape. This is radiation I, tape! I grab it from him. Ah! He's scared. He's just like, start wrapping it around my arm <laughs> wherever the hole is. <laughs> You are able to make a... It is not hard. It's just like duct tape. Uh, you are able to make a makeshift patch. It's not foolproof, but it can do the job. This is the best part. Varrican's unconscious. Bubbles doesn't talk. Kirschk and Vale are, what, slowly... Probably, probably at least back. around behind. Yeah. So you sit there I mean, I still, I'd still run, but yeah, I certainly... Point. I'd still get there as fast as I could, but at 10 feet... Uh, 20 feet per round slower than them. <laughs> we on our ship, or what ship are we on? You're on their little shuttle. Yeah, yeah the little sure. bullet-shaped shuttle. It's not big. Very small. Well, I patch up Varrican's suit as well, All and right. I continue to hold on to the tape. Don't give it back to him. <laughs> Why the fuck did they give us this, like, to go into the place? And then I'm gonna go back and pick up my gear now that I'm taped up. All right. And then I'm going to go back into the place and spend 10 minutes and uh, restore my stamina. Okay. Varrican, you will wake up tomorrow. Fuck. So what level are they at? Varrican's at unconscious and uh, Mr. Bubbles is at debilitated. Yeah, I'm close to death. Real fucking close to death. Yeah. Wow, just because it took four rounds to get back. I'm assuming the bullet ship is radiation shielded. Yes, Otherwise, absolutely. we wouldn't be safe. Yeah, yeah, I made a very specific point of saying that on your okay. way there. <laughs> um, I mean, honestly, Vale gets back and is going to look at his, quote, guides and say, take us back. We need to rest for the night. Your friends need medical attention. Immediately, please move. So is this there considered a disease? So it starts as a poison, and then if you survive the poison and fail a certain number of checks, it becomes a disease, which they both have. Interesting. So it's radiation poison? It starts as radiation poison, and if that doesn't kill you, so you have to make a couple different checks. Like, there's checks to see if it progresses, and then there's checks to see if it becomes a uh, disease. So that happened with both of them. So both of them now have radiation sickness, which is a disease. I mean, we're just going to say we rested for a few days to get over the radiation sickness, and then we moved on. And Kirsch will make medicine checks to give them plus four. There is a spell called remove radiation, uh, remove radioactivity. Huh. Veil. Uh, that's uh, witch warper that's thing specifically. Spell, it probably it? is. So you're going to just go back and rest for a few days. It's a fourth level spell. Oh, Damn. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's not even close to it. I'm still at first level spells for fuck's sake. So let's go for the first overnight rest. So what is its current save? Its current save is 17. As a disease. Okay. As a disease. So my first two treat disease checks succeeded. Fantastic. So you are able to help both of them. Yes. So, so you essentially get a, just 
You get a plus four. What am I at technically for minus and plus? Same, still plus, still minus oh, four. Thank God. All right, made the first save. All right, so the first day passes. Varrican, you make your save. Mr. Bubbles, you make your save. So both of you are starting to feel a little bit better. You wake up, Varrican. Are you guys back on your ship, would you say? Yeah. You're back on your ship. You're like, how the fuck did I get here? Yeah. Like, I just well, remember the light going that up. Those, that those assholes are fixing the suits. Yeah, they'll fix the suits for you. And I'm keeping the goddamn radiation tape. <laughs> We're not getting our security deposit back now, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, God, no. So that was one day. Uh, just, to, just to let you know, three fixing consecutives. this is three consecutive. So it depends oh. on what you want to do. Are, are you adventure capable with two days remaining? Or is that a big old no? Because we can easily take two more days off. It's not a bad thing at this point. Well, well, let's take two more days off because if we go back in and they rupture our suits again, we're already at stage what? Good point. Yeah. So then, yeah, let's take the time. Three days off. Because I'm kind of fucked. Yeah, let's not push it. <laughs> so, yeah. so am I still at debilitated? It's three consecutive days. It is three consecutive days. Your saves, I mean. The, yeah, three consecutive I, days worth of saves. I Nobody has a hero point, right? No. I just rolled an at one. I will give you all one hero point for surviving getting out of that. Is that so? You guys can each reroll. I still failed. I succeed all. You're doing mysticism checks. All four of my mysticism checks. No, those are mine. I yeah. thought you're supposed to do oh, medicine. medicine. It's the same roll. All right, no, I suppose they're both plus twelve. I just look. Can you give some of those great rolls that you had to your compatriots? I wish I could. I rolled Seriously. really <laughs> fucking well on those, and then you guys roll and shitty on your forty. So, uh, well, just Mr. Bubbles did. So, unfortunately, Mr. Bubbles fails on the second. Well, let's give me a hero point. I'll do it. There oh you my go. god! Thank you. Try to succeed, Varrican. How about you on day two? So I get a plus two to this now because I'm not debilitated anymore and I get the plus four from Kirsch. Yep. Okay. Woo! Nat 20. Thank, you. Thank goodness. Thanks. Day three. <laughs> and then day three. Yep. Kirsch. So yeah. this is with a plus four. Yeah, I, I rolled all my. You rolled so, all right. So and I succeeded them. all of them. Yeah. And I have a plus 12, so I've got a 20. Right, 75% chance of 60. 10 or higher. 10 or higher. Mr. Bubbles is good. You are no longer radiation sickness. Oh my he, god. He, fuck. he failed a day, didn't he? So does that mean... Oh no, he, no, we hero pointed point. it twice. Which I think I'm, is what Varrican's going to need to do. Yeah, I'm for sure going to have to do it. After that so. one in the die. And that's why I went through poisons. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. Barely. Yeah. Barely. Well, because I knew this was coming. I want to sleep. I hate you, David. <laughs> <laughs> so after three days of bed rest with Kirsch uh, helping out, both of you are able to recover from your radiation sickness. We're going to find a better system here. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> For how to start or where to go now? Like how, like like how, much how to make it through the rest of this dungeon with a sungeon without dying. <laughs> well, we do have two. Extra hero point for Swanee. Two, we have two radiation suits that are just currently being patched. Do I recall us talking last week about how we were going to make it work after the damage? We got tape. Yeah, you got, got tape. tape. And we, the guy was going to fix them, so they're like brand new again. Yeah. I would say that, I mean, during those three days, I would definitely reach out to Commander Kuthari and uh, have her direct me to the accounting department that will expediate my refund expedite <laughs> whatever Expedia. make it go faster uh you get put in a queue no nope i hang up <laughs> i call commander back no no i mean she says she's got to put your request into a queue she, oh, doesn't, have, she doesn't handle finances that's yeah. got to go to the accountants swanee how long does something like that take god damn it corporate bureaucracy quite a while <laughs> no no <laughs> we'll skip oh, it a few god. months in game time you know, I was going to say, son of a bitch. This uh, is the future, and we're in space. It's got to go a little bit quicker. Okay, sorry. Well, I mean, we have electronic <laughs> funds now. It could happen in the blink of an eye, and it fucking doesn't. It, it absolutely could, but it won't. Space bureaucracy. Because it has to be cleared by the a AP um, leader. And then <laughs> got to go to the check writing department. <laughs> 
God damn it. God damn it. God damn it. She's not going to just Venmo it to you. No, I'd say we're if we're you know ready to fast forward ahead. I don't have any. All right. I've already put I've already put you guys through a lot of nonsensical and useless role play up to this point. So I'll, <laughs> I'll let us get back to the dungeon diving already. But it's been so much fun. It <laughs> has been. I've enjoyed it. All right. So you head back uh, again. The uh, the two artifact divers will take you there in their little bullet diving ship. And uh, you're about. Are they just as excited as before, or yeah, now they... are they a little bit more worried? Oh, they're even more excited. Like there's da- like there's imminent danger. This is the best. <laughs> but not for them. Exactly. <laughs> That's exactly. true. So they stay there parked about 100 meters down the uh, tunnel. You guys may approach however you wish. Well, since we know a little bit more about what we might be able to expect, let's make it a point to stay at range as long as possible when engaging enemies in this space. As you approach the entrance, go ahead and give me perception checks, everybody. Seven. Twenty-nine. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, bud. Ooh! Jeez. <laughs> That's a lot of 18s. So, on the three die. 18s and a four. Wow, Tyler. Hey, Vale's, Vale's busy warning you guys not to engage quickly. I'm too busy talking. <laughs> Vale's Boy, too busy talking to notice what's going on around him in the immediate... Okay, yeah. Boy, that sounds that sounds really familiar. As you approach, uh, those are some really good checks. It does not seem as though anybody is waiting in that entrance this time. Like, you remember that they were kind of hiding around the corners. You listen carefully. You're looking really carefully. Doesn't look like there's anybody in that main entrance this time. I'm going to stealth up. Okay. Stealth up and move to right there. Just 10, 20, 15 feet inside of the main entrance. Where do I hide the die? I want to make a secret check. Do you have to change it in settings? Yeah, I'm looking in the options right now and I'm not finding it. Show GM rolls. Yeah. Just yeah. pick up a die and roll it then. <laughs> Fine. I'll roll it and you'll see. Too much I just, I just mean, roll in front of us. No, I just mean like you literally oh. just pick up a real physical die and roll it. Oh. <laughs> <That's a good laughs> I like idea. how that was the last thing on everyone's mind. <laughs> it was, <laughs> but also it makes the most sense. Oh boy! Like, how do I make this roll secret? Right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. Oh god, that's funny. <laughs> We have been playing online for too long, guys. Uh, Imagine rolling a physical dice at this point, man. (laughs) Oh, my God. Okay. Varrican, as you move into the entrance here, you are being the stealthy. Uh, You don't notice any enemies to your left or right. You hear the sounds of machinery kind of from all around you. You can hear what sounds almost like blow torches coming out of those fire pits to the left, but nothing else. Okay. Uh, I will pull up my comms unit. That is so not stealthy. (laughs) No, he's probably got it like audio output is my headset. Yeah. And that's it. Like somehow he's rigged that up and I'm the only person who hears it. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, I'll go onto the comms unit and just be like, Captain, looks clear up here if you want to move up. Hmm. I'm curious about the... Some sort of exhaust, fire, ventilation off to the left? Is it something that, like, prevents any sort of, like, overheating of the important machinery? And I start walking towards that fire room where that sound, I'm assuming, is coming from. I'm just in thought as I'm walking towards that room. Uh, You can certainly move in there and investigate it a little bit more. I'm just curious if it looks like some sort of ventilation system. So I want to have you make a check, mm-hmm. but what it is, I'm going to say, essentially, there is no possible way for you to know what this is. Oh, then I'm definitely going to go fucking look at it. <laughs> so it would be a life science check, if anything. I mean, I wouldn't be able to make any any life science check that you asked me to make because I'm not trained in it. I mean, I can certainly make one, but... I'm just... I, I don't like not knowing about what something is, so I'm just postulating as to what it could be out loud. Sure. What'd you get for your life science? Uh, a 10. Man, it is... Totally untrained. Some really hot air coming out of there. Mm. Hot air, we're on the sun, that makes sense. 
a shrug. And I walk back into the main room, back to where Varrican's at, assuming uh, I'm alone. I'm going to walk into the tunnel on the right side, actually, okay. and just do a general perception check to see if I see anything down there. Sure. Or, like, hear any sort of movement. Uh, 13 for perception. You hear what sounds like a burning sound coming from down there. It sounds quite similar to the elementals that you faced the last time you were in here. You would probably suspect there's at least one more of them down there, and you can hear them. Captain, I do hear movement to the right if we want to check it out. Otherwise, we can go back the same path that we were at. Oh, well, what kind of movement? I'm going to go walk over to Varrican next to him and kind of glance. Sounds like the fire elementals that we fought last time. Hmm, well, we have this nice long hallway. Nice, interesting choke point. I think we might be able to slow down the path that they would need to take to get to us here. Vale's going to... He has this cantrip that he has yet to use called Dazzling Flares. Okay. Dazzling Flares is, I believe, a Witch Warper only cantrip, but I evoke fist-sized pockets of existence from multiple realities, creating chemical reactions that result in up to a dozen flares in a 10-foot radius. And the flares all appear at rut once, and uh, I can choose their colors, including colorless. They can make popping noises, flicker in and out of reality. I can make it as loud as up to 20 humans shouting, but I don't want to make it that loud. And I can also make it as quiet as a human's whisper. So it's super flexible. That's a really cool spell. I haven't had a chance to really use this cantrip yet, and I'm glad I'm getting a chance to now. Well, what happens within that radius? Because if it makes a sound like 20 people screaming, like... I mean, that's not what I'm shooting for. (laughs) Okay. I'm looking for something more along the lines of, uh, like, maybe a group of four random spacefarers stumbling down the hallway and making more noise than they should. I just want it to make it obvious that we're in this area. Gotcha. And then have us all be sitting in the back uh, where the beginning of this hallway is. I'm going to call up Kirsch and Bubbles. And I'm also going to ready action. So what I'm going to do is use one of my uh, class features. It's called Infinite Worlds. And I'm going to expend a first level spell slot to cause an affected area to become difficult terrain can kind of flavor it however I want. It's a 10 foot radius spread that I make difficult terrain. It uses a first level spell slot for me to do it. And then are you doing that before or after you're casting this thing that sounds like four adventurers? Well, that is going to be what I do to get their attention. So I'm just going to cast that first Okay. after everybody's in place. Uh, it lasts for one round, so I will cast that, and then in the next, you know, quote, round before combat, ready action to do my infinite world's difficult terrain in the 10-foot radius spread. Okay. And then hopefully Varrican and Bubbles can shoot those fuckers down before they even get close to us. Cool. Well, let's go ahead and get initiatives, because you are definitely going to set something off here. As you do this veil and you make it sound like an adventurer party, adventuring adventuring party is walking down this hallway, uh, you do attract the attention of a couple of creatures and moving out from the north entrance of this hallway. So this hallway splits off. You can see that it splits off one to the north, one to the south. You can't see really anything more than that, but you do see a couple of creatures come through and it is more of the small fiery fuckers. You'd first see one, you know, right as it comes through. So you could take your ready to action there, Tyler. Okay. Then that ready to action is going to trigger it. And I mean, I'm going to put it right exactly where the dazzling flares cantrip went off. Okay. That same 10 foot radius space, which is the right, f- the most eastern side of those squares is right at the end of the hallway. And then 20 feet to the west. And so what kind of save do they have to make in it? Uh, It's just all difficult terrain. The way that I would have 
that I would have the uh, infinite worlds come in is that I would have like a blizzard from another reality start flickering in and out in that space. I know it's not going to deal them damage, but I just feel like that would absolutely slow a fire elemental down in my head. So that's how I'm going to have it. Oh, there's a flickering snowstorm that's happening <laughs> happening in there. <laughs> I love it. All right. So first act is actually going to be small fiery fucker one, and he is going to be slowed down by this. So, which means he has to take all three of his movements to get up in Mr. Bubbles's face, and he is not able to attack. Next to act is Kirsch. Okay, well, Kirsch is just going to... I'm just going to do telekinetic projectile at this guy. All right. We should have a snowball to throw at him, but... <laughs> and we'll get a 17 to hit. That hits. Bludgeon the bastard for five. He takes it. Next to act is Vale. I'm going to go ahead and cast my hazard cantrip on him and bring some of that blizzard back, but in full force, and it barrels down on him for five seconds, and he needs to make a reflex save. Reflex save, okay. Ooh, I roll a natural 20 on that and get a 23. Then he takes no damage. Uh, then after Vale, we move to Varrican. So is the fire elemental right next to Mr. Bubbles? It is, yeah, sorry, my grid doesn't align quite right, but yes, they're right next okay. to each other. So, shooting into melee, is that still a minus four? Or am I thinking Pathfinder rules? No, they'd have soft cover, so it'd be... Soft uh, cover? Um, or it is... Yeah, it is four. So, yeah, it's four. So, okay. it'd be soft right. cover. I'm going to move towards Vale to the left here. And as I do that, I am going to do a trick attack. So, I'm going to roll stealth. So, 25 beat 20 plus a CR. Yes. All right, perfect. Take a shot at him with my pistol. I definitely mess with a six. Indeed, indeed. Uh, but that is my turn. All right, next one, small fiery fucker two. He moves up behind his friend, and that's really all he can do. That's a good use of that difficult terrain there, Mr. Vale. Next up, uh, it's Mr. Bubbles. Hey, what is the the Splashmaster five thousand use for ammo? Cartridges. I think it's itself? batteries. I believe so. Um, so yeah, I never 40, 40 it. charges is its capacity, and it uses four charges per use. I'm going to use that um, on these two guys in front of me. Yeah, it's a nat 20 on one of them. Oh, oh shit. shit. Okay. Wait, isn't it an area attack? Um, well, it's an area burst, but you make attacks against yeah. both of them. Yeah. yeah. And then so you do you- damage... As one damage effect, though. So you hit them both. You crit the one directly in front of you. And rolling damage. And uh, it, does, it does deal extra damage being cold, right? It does. It absolutely does. It deals 150% damage. So first one would have taken seven. And the one I crit would have taken well, 16. Yeah. He dead. Nice work. Yeah, I'm going to switch weapons to my Doshko, and I'm going to take a step back. All right, Kirsch. Um, Yeah, Kirsch is going to back up a little bit, kind of keep retreating away from this thing, (laughs) Um, and then use telekinetic projectile again. We're going to get a 19 to hit. Absolutely. And we'll deal this fiery fucker. Throw the Splashmaster 5000 at it. (laughs) If it explodes, I'll give you extra damage in front. (laughs) Uh, no, it just does three damage. All right. Anything else from Kirsch? Nope. That'll be it. Veil. I'm going to go ahead and give a hazard another go here, and he's going to need to give me a reflex save. Do okay. you have a spell that changes the, like, the Shut elemental up. damage? <laughs> he gets a 17 on his reflex save. I believe a 17 makes it. Yeah, 17 makes it. So Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah, I do nothing with my movement action. All right. Sigh. <laughs> Varrican. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take another shot with the trick attack here. So stealth check. 33 beat him. <laughs> yes, it does. All right. Natural 20. Goodness. You crit. Nice. 27 points of damage to it. Uh, you deal more damage than it had HP to begin with. Just Somebody. right from the hip. Just, 
Bang. Dead. Well done. We are out of combat. There are two I, dead fire elementals. They dealt you no damage, I believe. I go pick up the Slash Master. Well done, gentlemen. Well, if that's what they had when they were waiting for us, it shouldn't be a problem moving forward then. Ferkin, can you go see what lies to the north and south at this intersection for us? Tell me that, Captain. Yeah, is it still difficult terrain? Nah, you can dismiss it at will, which okay. I do. Perfect. Uh, then I will also continue. Um, I'll move you, up. Yeah, when Sorry, you get to ahead. there, Varrican. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Do you want to? Do you want to be stealthy about it? Yeah, I was going to do a stealth check and a perception check as I'm moving up down the hall. Perfect. Yeah, stop right there and go ahead and give me both. Okay. Stealth. Twenty-eight for stealth, and eighteen for perception. When you get there, you do see a creature hiding. You spot him. He does not appear to spot you. He is in the room to the south. Okay. It's like he's trying to crouch behind the corner waiting for you, but you see him before he sees you. Okay. Uh, Does he have cover against me right now? He would, yes. Okay. Partial cover. I don't have any splash stuff. I'm just going to go ahead and do a trick attack against him then. Okay. So go ahead and do that, and then that'll launch us into combat again. Okay. No, it's probably not going to do it anyways. I got a 20 total. Yeah, I'm afraid. He a CR zero? He is not a CR zero. I'm just going to take a shot with the pistol here. So he has partial cover, you said, right? Partial cover, yep. Okay. Out of ammo! <laughs> oh, shit. Well, okay. It absolutely would have yeah. reloaded. That's what I was just going to say, too. I'm sorry. How, uh, how do you reload? So it's semi-auto, you just that. put another, you just put more ammo in the. Yeah, I'm gonna magazine. cross. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> no, is I'm, I'm gonna take about off game turn spawning, not how you actually load a semi-automatic pistol. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like this pistol is way different, but in total, I think I would have because I shot a bunch last session. So I'm gonna take off an entire mag just because I mean, to add on two more shots. Sure. So yeah. Sense. We rested for three days, so... Yeah, I'd take it I would have reloaded my pistol at some In point. three days, I forgot to uh, reload my <laughs> pistol! <laughs> uh, and I get a four, so I miss. God damn it. Yeah, those are some bad rolls. Some, some mm-hmm. All five or lower for you. Um, that is going to drop us into initiative, so everybody go ahead and roll initiative. Well, hopefully I can get the jump on him now, at least. Huh? Well, I need to roll off. For me and you? Yep. Damn it. Woo! You win. Yeah, perfect. Uh, is he holding a... Uh, okay, so he's not hoping, holding a melee weapon at all? He's not. He is holding a pistol. All right, boys, what do you think? Do I risk it and just run right into the room with a stealth check? You just shot at him. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know, man. but like I'm saying, do I run into the room, though, where he's at? Oh, like I don't know. I, don't, I, I think you retreat and hope he follows you. <laughs> like shoot at him, just just take a shot at him and then move move your movement back. The idea here is not to puncture the radiation suits to the best of our ability. That's true. Well, I don't get my trick attack though if I don't move. Uh... Well, with the way you've been rolling, you're not gonna pass the tr- trick attack attempt. And you're sure as shit not going to crit it like you did last time either. You know what? I don't like your negative attitude, so I'm going to go for it. Good. I'm glad, <laughs> go- I'm glad going you into that <laughs> work. <laughs> you did. Well, it's I so much easier I... to bait people as a player. <laughs> wow, this is fantastic. I wish I would have used that for my shot to hit, but I rolled a 19 and got a 34. So That's for your... Uh, trick there, my stealth check for him. Stealth check. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that certainly succeeds the trick attack, yeah. Okay, perfect. And then take a shot. 17 to hit. Did you hit the uh, partial cover thing? Oh, shit. No. I'm looking at it. That's okay, you'd still hit. So, oh, yeah, thank you hit. Whew. All right. <laughs> and then roll for damage. 12 damage to him. Ooh, that is a good hit. Good shot. All right. Anything else from Varrican? Um, that's all I can do. Full round action. Well, it's his turn, and uh, he doesn't like that. So he is going to take a shot at you right back. 
uh, from, again, partial cover. You'll have I like this cover. point blank shootout that's going on right now. It is a little silly, but you know, not wholly <laughs> unrealistic. Mess, mess, mess. We shall see. Uh, he gets a 13 to hit your KAC. That is gonna miss. All right. Uh, he then takes a move action and runs back to where you can't see him. And then we move to another enemy who does a thing that you don't know about. And then it's Kirsch. That's a long ways away. So obviously I hear him take a couple of shots. I see that he does not retreat at all. I don't really have a whole lot I can do. So I will move up Teleconnect Projectile if one comes in view. Okay. My turn. Mr. Bubbles. Uh, Mr. Bubbles will move 10, 20, 30, 40 feet. I don't know why the sight still. Um, fuck. As a swift action, can I peek around that corner to see where he is? My thought where I'm going with this is I move 40 feet and then I want to th- lob a grenade back in that corner. I know I can't shoot around that corner, but basically I want to take a peek, see him, and just like chuck a grenade around the corner because like where I moved. I can't attack many other way. Sure. Here's how I would rule that. Full disclosure, two enemies have taken ready actions back there. If you can give me a reflex save that beats their initiatives, then yes, you can take a peek and avoid getting shot at. It's not happening. You then you do not feel as though you'd be quick enough to take a peek without getting your face blasted off. Okay. I have a three I have a three reflex save. Like I'm not <laughs> I need an 18 or 18 or higher. No, no, I need, I need more. That is 24. I can't even beat him. Um, I'm going to have my dash go out. All right. And then I'm going to end my turn. Okay. Vale. Vale's still at the back or at the western end of the entrance room. So he's a very long way from all of this. So I've heard Varrican pop off a couple of shots and with his free action will hit the comm unit and go, Varric, and what happened to sa- like saving the suits? Draw them back. They're in a room. They're not coming out. Fine. Coming up. So then I use... I'm going to have to use... Uh, can I use a standard action to downgrade into a move? Yes. I'm going to double move to get in between uh, Varric and Kirsch and use my swift action to... Uh, Smack Varrican's dome. Can I reflex save that? <laughs> or does he have to roll the hit? You have to beat his KAC. Oh, fuck, I can't do that. And do non lethal damage. I'm not going to do it. It's not even going to do anything. I give up before I even try. <laughs> I'm an old rat. I'm not a nimble rat. I'm not a nimble old rat. I'm not, I'm not splinter. You're yeah, not a nimble old I don't know if I told you, but I have the fastest hands on the west side of the star. Yeah, fine. <laughs> That's my turn. All right, then we are back to Varrican. I don't know what I'm going to do. Mr. Bubbles is right in front of me. Can we see what's down the other hallway? Just yeah, can oh, I yeah, peek Mr. Bubbles through that? Now. Yeah. So you see a hallway. Down the hallway, you see two rooms to the west and east. Um, and then at the end of the hallway, another two uh, passages. Not rooms, but passages. Oh, that is not a very good way to go at all. And that hallway to the north, remember, is where the two little fiery elementals came from at the beginning of the combat. I'm going to try something maybe possibly innovative, maybe possibly really dumb. All right. Uh, But I am going to take off my charge cloak that I'm currently wearing and toss it into the room. Okay. It's like, I don't know what their ready actions are, but if it's when anything goes in the room, then I'm, I'm just hoping to at least provoke a shot. Why don't you give me a bluff check on this? Okay. 23 bluff. Goodness. Two guns fire. Hey, there we go. Bubbles, go now. Well, it is not Mr. Oh, Bubbles' shit, turn. it's their turn, isn't it? <laughs> uh, no, well, that was innovative, at least. No, if you want to, uh, you can roll to hit. The charge cloak, I do have the AC, because it can take damage and break, but it's a hardness. Well, it's AC 10, hardness is 6, and HP is 6, so. Well, I guess that's easy enough. We get a 14 to hit, and a 21 to hit. It takes from the 14 2 damage, so does that even go past its hardness? No. And then 5 damage. Nope. All right. 
What was its hardness? Six. Oh, they can't even get past it, so... It's For a fine. second, I thought that 21 was the damage on that first roll. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Run now. <laughs> okay, well that was a great move. It is now Kirsch's turn. Well, I ain't going in there, so... I'm going to stand here in ready action to tell it any projectile. <laughs> All right. Mr. Bubbles. I guess I'm just going in the room. Otherwise, what? It's a standstill? It seems that way. So I'm going to go right at him with my Dashko. All right. As you get in there, you are able to see. I mean, I'm not going to run past guys if I see guys. I'm going to stop at the first one I see. That's what you'd see is this. So there are two guys with guns and a person wearing what looks more like roby things. And as soon as you run in the room, they are going to all three take ready to actions at you. Um, I tried. You tried. It was a good idea. If you would have coordinated a little bit better, it would have been great. So first off, you're going to have two bullets come flying at you. First one is going to be a nine to hit, which Miss. misses. Second one is going to be a six to hit. Miss. So, Two bullets bounce off of your excellent armor. And then a weird thing happens. You feel some strange dark energy probe into your mind. And I need a will save. 16. So your 16 is successful, but you still are going to take half of this damage. So let's go ahead and roll it. Eight damage. You are going to take half of that, which is four. As a weird negative energy goes through your head. But... I do also want to rule that this damage would not count toward the um, suit. The suit, yeah, because this is this is basically mental damage. So I am keeping track of that on my end as well. And then you can complete your turn. So yeah, then I take a swing at the corpse thug, corpse folk thug number two that I ran into when I entered the room. Big ol' swing gets me a I'm a hero point that is fuck rolling a three and you gave us multiple hero points, star points, right? Oh my yes. god. <laughs> a thirteen still hits though. I can't believe that hit. <laughs> okay. Five on the die and it hit. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, low damage. Thirteen damage. He is heavily injured. Low damage. Wow, your damage is up to plus nine. And a D12. After Mr. Bubbles, it is Vale. You hear multiple gunshots and a big loud scream as you hear the familiar sounds of Mr. Bubbles dismembering motherfuckers. Vale's going to use his move action to get into the room and back a little deeper and behind Mr. Bubbles. I'm going to say, I really do like the idea of uh, you guys all standing back in a hallway and I, I just enter a room and all of a sudden you guys just hear screaming <laughs> from somebody. <laughs> <And gunshots. laughs> like, like I just like, casually walked in and all this like a thud. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a alien horror movie, you know, because someone's like shooting at the yeah. creature and then all right. of a sudden they get just murdered. Mr. Bubbles is the monster. Mr. Bubbles, in this case, is the monster. <laughs> I'm not locked in here with you. You're locked in here with me! God damn it, I love that movie. It's so good, though. I think what I am going to do is, as Vale will run into the room and, you know, like I said, getting behind Mr. Bubbles here, I'm going to cast Grease in a 10-foot... Is it a 10-foot square? It is 10-foot square. Okay, so I've got a 10-foot square here, and I'm going to put it right over the one that looks like it's casting, although Mm -hmm. I don't see that, and then the thug that Mr. Bubbles hasn't uh, almost dismembered. Well, that's all right. Varrican shot him, so... So, yeah, uh, that's going to need a reflex save from both of them. Fantastic. Okay, reflex from the caster... Gets a 19. 19 saves. And the thug gets a 19. A 19 also saves. They can walk within or through the area at half of normal speed with a successful 18 acrobatics. Sorry, a successful 10 acrobatics check. And that's only if they try to move, do they have to make that, right? Correct. A creature that doesn't move on its turn doesn't need to attempt this check and isn't considered flat-footed. Okay. Anything else from Vale? Nope, that's all 
I Very was about good. to say all three actions, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it takes a while to get away from that. Yeah, I'm done. Varrican. Varrican is going to move into the room and I, the one that he shot earlier from the wall, and then trick attack and make a stealth check against him. Uh, 20, so I don't think I get the stealth check on him. No. But then I will go ahead and take a shot with the pistol. 12 to hit. 12 does hit. 7 damage to him. Yeah, he is dead. All right, perfect. That's my turn. All right. Thug number two is going to take a step action away from Mr. Bubbles, and he is going to fire at you with his pistol, backing away, terrified, shooting. Gets a 19 to hit your KAC, which looks like it does hit, and will deal Mr. Bubbles six piercing damage. And that is the end of his turn. Kirsch. Uh, Kirsch is going to finally move into the room. Oh, seeing Thug 2 looking kind of hurt. I'm going to telekinetic projectile that guy. All right. We'll get a 12 to hit. 12 will hit his KAC. And we'll deal him uh, two damage. <laughs> All right. Anything else from Kirsch? Uh, that's my turn. All right. The caster is not happy about how this is going. You said needs to make an acrobatics check, right? If they plan on moving, yes. Okay, yeah, so she'll move behind that guy and make an acrobatics check. Ooh, I roll well. She gets a 23. So then she is going to cast a spell at Mr. Bubbles. And Mr. Bubbles, I need another will save, please. You stop with the fucking spells. You're big and scary. (sighs) You save. You feel slightly compelled to do whatever she tells you, but then you're like, no. why would I do that? And yeah, you shake it off. I don't want to then feel slightly compelled. <laughs> um, that's her turn. Mr. Bubbles, it is your turn. Uh, I murdered the person in front of me. It's not murder, it's self-defense. Right. They don't have melee weapons at all, at all do they? They don't. No, they're using pistols. Or no, she does. Move. Actually, she does. Strange. She does. That's fine. But he does. Uh, I move up the corpse thug to okay. and take the swing. She actually has a spear in her hand, turns out. 15 to hit. That hits. He's dead. I am certain. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very dead. You do kill him. Fucking 14 damage. That's great. That <laughs> Vale. Is great. Vale takes a, a couple of steps forward and goes, Boy, your man looks very dead to me. Surrender. And you will need to die again, as they did. If I let you live, I'm already dead. I will no. just kill you. Well, then we'll just make this all go very much quicker, shan't we? And I'm just going to cast Hazard on okay. her. I'm not going to be the one to kill her. Uh, need a reflex save? She gets 23. Yeah, it's a save. That's my turn. All right. Varrican. So that is considered melee combat now, right? Yes. Yep, so it'd be soft cover. I'm going to move right next to Vale and Kursk and do the trick attack as well. Yeah, you definitely would not have soft cover from that angle. Oh, okay, perfect. 18, is she a negative 2 CR? Um, she is not. Okay, then I'm just going to go ahead and take a shot. 16 to hit. 16 uh, does hit. And four damage. All right. Kursk. Caster, huh? I don't like that very much. I know what casters can do. I'm going to cast Mind Thrust on her. So Willowmaker give me a will save. She gets a 24. That saves. Fuck. So she takes half of 2d10, right? God, I, I have the shittiest damage rolls. <laughs> 2d10. I roll six. I did it for me. And so she takes half of that for three. What a waste of a level one spell. <laughs> three oh, fucking dude. damage. That's, that's kind of how I feel about Grease. Nobody even fell. I mean, she dealt four damage to uh, Mr. Bubbles with the exact same spell, so don't feel too bad. It is now her turn. She swings her spear as though she actually knows how to use it. And Mr. Bubbles, she lays into you and is like, let's dance. 
And she gets a 23 to hit you with her spear. Mm -hmm. Who has the tape? She will deal you seven damage with the spear, seven piercing damage. Yeah. Mr. Bubbles has the tape. No, I gave it to the uh, very bell. I gave it to bell. I have it. Okay. She is actually then going to take a step back into the grease and make an acrobatics check. And she succeeds. That is the end of her turn. It is now Mr. Bubbles' turn. I step up to her and murder her. Make that acrobatics check on that grease. Don't okay, fall on I that grease spell. Step somewhere else and oh, murder her. Damn. 17 to hit? Yeah, 17 hits. 20 damage? Oh, jeez. Yeah, she's still alive, but she, uh, that looks like it hurt. That's my turn. Then Veil. Vale. Uh, Veil's gonna take out the tape, walk up behind Mr. Bubbles, and try to start taping up some of the spear gash that she just left in his suit. I don't know what you want me to do in order to, to do this. I, have I don't no think idea. you'd be able to do anything until it actually goes into his hit points. So he's still just in his stamina points right now. Oh, wait, so the suit is okay right now? Right. I think Tyler is saying he's trying to like patch up. Yeah, I'm trying to mitigate. Like preemptively patch up the spots that have taken some damage. So we get into the uh, the philosophical idea of what are stamina points and what are hit points. Mm, and okay. at, at this time, for stamina points, to me, that essentially means there has been no damage dealt. Like, nothing is hurt on Mr. Bubbles. He's not hurt. His armor's not hurt. It's not until you start getting into the hit points where I start to think there's actually going to be any damage. So until he gets so to... So this is going to be a sudden thing. Yes. That would mean that if we had a way to heal stamina points right now, but we've already had this discussion. We don't. Nope, we don't. Okay, then I'll just I'll come up. I'll, I'll walk up behind Mr. Bubbles and like get the tape out. And I'll just like casually rip off a, cute, a few pieces and like stick them to the side of my suit <laughs> as I'm walking. No, I'll stick them to the side of my walking stick. <laughs> so they kind of flap out. And I uh, kind of walk up while I'm doing that, and uh, I'll say, look, this is just going to go badly for you. It would be best if you just gave up. Tell us everything you know and then disappear as best you can. Fuck off, rat. Oh, well, fantastic. I tear off another piece of the tape, and uh, well, I'll just sit here and wait for my friend Mr. Bubbles to kill you, and then we'll just search your corpse. I'll click my walking stick on the floor and end my turn. American. Uh, just gonna quickly move, stealth check, and do a trick attack here. Is she? That's not gonna work for stealth. No, nope, not 17. a seventeen. And then just go ahead and take a shot. I'm almost out of bullets and have to reload soon. Twenty-five to hit though. Absolutely hits. All right. This is second edition. That'd have been a crit. Four damage. <laughs> She is very... I shouldn't have even shot. He's just going to... Mr. Bubble is just going to kill her anyways. Kirsch. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go back to the telekinetic projectile. But I get a nine to hit. Um, we'll miss. No, I've got like... I believe you have three star points. Three star points. I'm going to use one of them. And so I get a 23. Yeah. That will hit. And probably do some meaningless damage. One damage. <laughs> Not <laughs> <unconscious>. <laughs> So, uh, what is it you throw at her to kill her? I wish I had a book. <laughs> <laughs> I was just character. thinking the same thing. <laughs> I guess just maybe some loose loose brick or something. So you bash her with a brick, and she goes down. She's only unconscious. Can we can we torture her? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cursed saying that. <laughs> she does not have resolve points. She is dead. two character deaths. However, they survived and lived to fight another day. Join us again next time as we continue Midnight in Space! And until then, may you have many great adventures of your own. It's your turn.